What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Kenny Chow. We back with another video, man. If you're new, you already know what to do. Be sure to go click the subscribe button right now. Be Rock it. What are you doing, bro? Bro, can you stop that? Thank you. Um, Yeah, man, we got a video. Kenny Dobbs. Hey, man, Kenny Dobbs dropping exposed videos. Who would have thought? Man's barely upload regular videos. Now he's dropping exposed videos. Gotta pay them bills, man. We got Nowhere is Safe, the truth behind the Chris White drama. All right, man. From perspective of what already happened, we gotta say it looks like Kenny Dobbs is scared of Chris White, right? We reacted to the other video. Kenny Dobbs pulled up, played terribly. I don't think he made a shot. And Chris White literally dogged him in that video. Um, now, was Kenny Dobbs look like he might not have been trying? Maybe. But he also doesn't play in the West Coast games. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and there's no shade to Kenny Dobbs. It's just like he doesn't actually play sometimes. Um, I feel like he's more of a director, right? Or like manager. I don't know how to describe it. But, you know, he don't play all the games. If anything, he don't play more than five minutes, you know? Uh, but... I always question because he's actually pretty decent from the videos I've seen him actually trying to play. Um, just not too sure why he doesn't try when, he, when it's serious. Hence the Chris White East border game he just pulled up to. Uh, but, you know, we're going to see what he got to say, man. Maybe he got more truth. What's up, everybody, man? I'm back with another video. I've been getting a lot of messages, DMs, comments. What's going on between the beef with me and Chris White? So I'm going to make a little video, short, quick, simple, straight to the point. Giving you guys the truth the behind the scenes of what all has gone on. <laughs> this all started last year when me and Chris White were supposed to have a 1v1. But there was no beef, there was no real drama. You know, he went through his beef and his stuff with Nick Briz and all that other stuff, man. None of that had nothing to do with me. At the end of the day, I want to play ball. I'm a competitor, so when I see somebody that's big and bad and woofing on the court like that, I like to go heads up with those type of people. I challenged him to a 1v1. He wanted to come down to Phoenix and do a takeover. He had his boy Greg, Tommy, the whole squad with him, the Hoolies at that time. Wanted to come out to Phoenix, asked me about crashing at my pad. You guys know I got a big house out here in Phoenix, got the basketball court, man, here in the courthouse. We have a lot of fun. You already know what it is, man. Stay balling, you see the chain. But check it. So they asked to stay the night at the house. You see the chain. <laughs> I already know what it is, man. Stay balling. You see the <laughs> Y'all see the diamonds on the necklace? You see the cord in my house? Hey, man. That was a smooth flex, Kenny Dobbs. Okay. That's I actually late. He got a cord so in his house, to though. stay the night at the house. We had no problems you with that. Man, this was back in November. I had a whole takeover organized in Phoenix. He wanted to have the video. He said he needed a banger. He said, can he take the YouTube video? I said, bro, it's no problem, man. You're a guest in my city. Come on out, man. You can have the YouTube video. I get you guys all set up. Go get your kicks. Go get haircuts. Go shoot some guns. Whatever you want to do in AZ. This is for anybody out there, man. Anytime you guys come to AZ, you tap in with me. I'm going to make sure you guys have a good time. I promise you that. Now, the day before the event, he's supposed to show up. He knows we're doing a 1v1 first and then the takeover. Now, the day before the event, literally that night before the event supposed to take place, they ain't showed up yet. They were supposed to come into town that night. I had to text him and I said, I said, yo, what's good? Are y'all still coming to A? No, it's all bad when people show this. <sighs> Bro. I personally can't stand people that show like private conversation online, bro. It's just like, keep it offline, bro. Or just recite what it says, bro. Don't actually show the DMs. Just like. You know, we have to start texting on burner phones, bro. I promise you, it's like, if people keep showing DMs, uh, text messages, phone calls, bro, people want to start talking on burner phones, man. I'm telling Easy you. Or not. He says, man, Tommy and Greg are going to come, but I got some stuff I got to take care of. 
Well, now he's sending Tommy and Greg to come down, but he himself isn't coming. The whole point of us coming and setting up this event in Phoenix was for him to have a takeover, but was really for us to get our 1v1 on. He has his excuses. He said they're playing with his name. He's got to fix this whack narrative that they're trying to create, blah, blah, blah. It's always somebody else's fault with Chris. Those of you guys that don't know, it's always some kind of narrative that's happening. It's always something, oh, there's the money, the referee. He's got a thousand excuses <laughs> on why he don't show up to play play or whatever the case may be as we've seen in the West Coast game. Why that was so important to have the West Coast versus the Hoolies? Well, let me tell you the history on that game. So now he ducks out of the 1v1 for the first time. This was back in 2021 in November. The moment he ducks out of that game, I hit him and I say, you know what? Forget it then. If you're in LA, I'll book my flight. I book my flight that same night. I'm in LA the next morning. I tell you, if you talk trash about me or you run the game, I will pop up on your city. You can see the ice on my neck. Money ain't a thing to me. You like that, all right? We come out there to the city. We show up in LA. Now, I'm out there. Bro, can't, here, bro. And he's Kenny got doesn't talk more on camera. We're he's trying, actually trying to funny, bro. He says he's got book. He's, got, <laughs> you know, he's doing some other things. Okay, cool. I go to the gym that day. I'm killing some time. We go get a little workout in. I'm stretching out, whatnot. People are hooping in the gym. We're out in LA Fitness. So I go in there and I start hooping and I ball out that night. Well, unfortunately, I end up landing on my ankle wrong and I end up messing up my heel. So that night, I end up posting on my IG story that I tweaked my heel and I had an injury. The next day, I put on a takeover for the Ball's Life West Coast squad. Now, he hits me about coming out to that park takeover. He was supposed to bounce out that day. But I told them, yo, if you want to pull up, I can get you paid through Ball is Life. I'll make sure that you get paid for coming out. All is gravy. He says, okay, see what you can do. So I talked to my partners at Ball is Life. We make sure the deal was all kosher, make sure that he got some bread for popping out. I hit him back and I say, yo, done deal. Pop out. So I'm at the event now. I'm hosting. I'm organizing. I'm doing my job, doing what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Director for Ballers Life is what I do. Unfortunately, I was injured, so I wasn't playing that day. He knew this. It was on my story. I had posted it. So he shows up late to the park talking about traffic was bad or whatever. He wanted to make his grand entrance. He comes in. All right, so we just finished the game, and now it's his turn to play. He comes onto the court, and he looks at me on camera. Now he's got his mic in. He's, you know, he's tapped in with the feds. He's all mic'd up at the court. And he's asking me. Kenny, you playing? I said, I'm not playing today. He already knows this, by the way. So the moment he asked me that question, I'm already looking at him like, what is he up to? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not playing right now. I got a hurt heel. So you lucky, lucky that I ain't playing right now, or else I'd be on your head. You know I'm not playing. I just posted I was injured. I wasn't playing. And then he says, Oh, so you chilly. Oh, oh, oh. Give me a B. Okay. Give me a A. That comment right there, you struck a nerve inside, you know? Like MJ said, at that moment, it became personal with me. He's be a clown. He thinks he's funny. The real clown is going to see when we get this 1v1 going. He's been ducking that. He's been ducking that 1v1. He don't really want the real smoke. At that point, I start jawing at him in the game. We're going back and forth, back and forth. I'm telling you, you're lucky you're not, I'm not on the court. You know, just playful stuff. In my neighborhood, like Zach Randolph said, man, the bullies got bullied. So I wasn't standing for none of his trash talk. I was right there, back up with him, head to head. That day, he had my boy Juice, man. Shout out my boy Juice, West Coast. You already know what it is. We had a takeover that wasn't an official West Coast takeover. It was a takeover that we put on, but our whole West Coast squad wasn't there. I had my man MK in town. Chris White was in town. It just made good content, so I made the event happen. We were all out there just having a good time. It didn't matter to us whether we won or lost. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no money on the line, you know? But we're out there having a good time with the community. Now, Chris White is taking everything personal, so we should have known the type of character he was on. He got his dub on us, but we can't even call it a dub for Chris because on the back of Juice, this man has built his brand, all right? My boy Juice from the West Coast has became an official Hooli member and has carried Chris in every <laughs> single <laughs> game since. <laughs> Shout out my boy Juice one more time. <laughs> At the end of the day, Juice gonna still rock that ball his life, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if y'all wanna see more Juice playing with ball his life. But back to Chris. Now Chris gets the dub, all right? <laughs> say he really contributed too much out there. Oh maybe some God. rebounds, maybe 
maybe some good hard screens. She has some, no, you hilarious. know, whack over the shoulder, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar type hook shots, you know what I'm saying? But he wasn't doing nothing outside the paint. Juice carried him, they got the dub. That's where his whole, oh, I got two dubs on the West Coast, that's where that came from. That don't mean shit, I'm 2-0. Oh, I'm 2-0. Oh. We know what time we go, baby. His whole thing of why he always says, I got my two dubs, it came from that park event where we didn't even have our full West Coast squad and it wasn't even an official event. No money was on the line, no bag, nothing. We're just out there having fun. Everybody knows when you put money on the wood, it makes the game go good. And of course, we're going to bring that energy. You're talking trash. Money on the wood makes the game go good. Okay. I might have to steal that, Kenny Dobbs. Money on the wood makes the game go good. Finally, Kenny Dodge showed me That's something me. I pulled out some useful rats. that I can use in my videos. Did. He was ducking that game ever since then. When I put my own money up and I told him, put your money up, let's get it. He's been ducking that ever since. Now, fast forward, that's where I start hearing my name popping up on his story. People are tagging me, people are commenting, saying, yo, Chris running his mouth on his live stream, talking about you ducking the smoke, you know, talking about the West Coast, scared to come to the East Coast. He's scared. He know he don't want to play me. I will drop his old s bro, your old s Boy, them old ass legs, slow ass handle. Boy, all you can do is take a <laughs> jump shot, bro. k Dog got all screenshots. Quiet. Talking all that all that And now yo quiet. That's all I want to know. I, I just want to answer to my question. Why was you talking all that high? Talking about play me for 5,000. Play me for 5,000. Nah, 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 nah. Why you wanted to play me for 5000 and then all of a sudden you saw me drop off your team in person and you quiet. Shh. All of this, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this man is a pathological liar. He's a master manipulator. And that's why we call him, his squad, and all his fans foolies. They ain't the hoolies. They're the <laughs> foolies because these fools are fooled for following this dude. Anyways, I start hearing all this. Oh so I'm like, my okay, gosh, so you know what I'm saying? Bad, let's make this bro. game happen. I talk with Chris. I say, let's make this game happen. Let's get a bag for you, your squad, the whole squad. It'll be all good. Talk to my partners about it. Initially, my partners at Ballers Life didn't want to make that game happen. They already know how much of a headache it was dealing with Chris and people like him. So it was kind of a little controversy to even put that game. I said, I want to make this game happen. I want to make this game happen. And even though I was injured, I had a broken toe, I had a torn rotator cuff. I've been dealing with different injuries, you know what I'm saying? As I'm getting older, it takes longer to recover. But no excuses. I was still ready to get out there and get after it. I told my team, any moment that Chris is in the game, I'm in the game, I'm on him. We were already preparing for that, man. We were ready to have some fun. And then come to game time, long story short, this man don't even show up to the game. He's gonna have his narrative of why he didn't show up and yada, yada, yada. But I'm telling you, I already foreseen this man not gonna show up. It wasn't nothing new. He starts losing, whether it's a park run or a gym run or whatever. There's thousands of people across the world that have seen this live in person. He don't like to lose. He don't wanna look bad on camera. So when he starts to lose a game, he'll just quit. He'll walk off the court. So in the Ball is Life event, he wanted to get paid all his money up front. He wore a t-shirt saying that if the refs are cheating, I'm leaving. Why would we pay money for somebody up front that we already feel is gonna leave the moment the game gets close? He was not trying to finish the game in the first place, but we'll, live, we'll leave that narrative for himself. I'm not even trying to get into all of that. There's a lot of drama that went down. Long story short, his team showed up to play, but he didn't, and I was still out there. I didn't really care to play whether I played or not because ultimately, I was only there to compete against Chris. Fast forward to from there. Now that game went down. West Coast got the dubs. Shout out to all the boys that actually showed up to Hoop, man. Squad X. Actually, the Squad X name is kind of hot, man. I think you boys should run with that. D Bones, <laughs> Lightfoot, J Will for the kill. Uh, shout out my boy Debo out there, man. The real CEO of the Hooligan Squad. Tommy, Greg, 
You know, all of the boys that showed up, Juice, man, even though Juice is a West Coast squad member taking our players, man, he's, he's recruiting out there. We can't trust Chris, man. He's the ops, all right? Now, Chris didn't show up. Chris is talking on the internet in true Chris fashion again. Now, I hear the next day he wants to host a takeover on his own. Now he's hosting a takeover in my city and thinks I'm not going to show up? Forget about it. I'm popping up on you. But at the end of the day, we played the game. He went on to smack me in the game. Shooting three, <laughs> got the game winner. Hey, at least know, he had been getting smacked. His team won. Because Chris did smack Good. His team won. Congrats to him. You know, he got the dub. He got all hyped about it. He got on his cameras. He's saying, I'm a bum, this and that. Let him put his video out. I didn't say anything. Made sure that he got what he needed. You know what I'm saying? A good banger video for himself. And shout out to that video. It's done numbers, man. It's been one of his best videos he's dropped in months. At the end of the day, I didn't care about that game. There was no money on that 5v5 game. All I was doing was running my own little hustle, man. And all my boys and everybody that knows me truly knows I'm all about the hustle. I'm about getting bread. What he didn't know is that me and Gio, the young goat, shout out to Gio Wise, the young goat. He was over at the crib before we head to the gym. And I'm talking to him and I'm telling him what my game plan was. Let's now, just it. so that you know, my main objective is to try to hustle my way into getting Chris to confirm and commit to a one v one him Versus me. Definitely. Five racks on the line though, Gio. I know that once he gets a little dub to where he thinks psychologically that I'm washed up and that he can beat me. So that way he guarantees to play that game 1v1. You, you got to understand business and hustle, Gio. You right. can't show them the whole bag or else they're going to be scared. They'll never play you. So you got to okay. work your way in. I might have to do lose the battle in order to win the war in the end. You get what I'm saying? And I know you've been dealing with a lot of injuries lately, so how do you think it's going to affect your game? Look <laughs> at I know that's not Gio's chain, man. Injuries lately, so <laughs> they got Gio on stuff. For the video! Gio don't have that chain? Come on, man. Affect your game today. That's a nice chain, though. That's a good question. It might be Max. Are, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you doubting me? You're starting to sound like the Ops now, Gio. No, 1v1, I'm smacking him no matter what. If, if I got a pick. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? Are you, are you serious? Are you, are you Affect your game today. That's a good question. Are you, are you serious? Are you, are, you, are you doubting me? You're starting to sound like the Ops now, Gio. No, one v one. No. I'm smacking him. No matter what. If, if I got a peg leg and I got to hobble onto the court and hit nothing but dirt step backs, I'm winning that game. Now he's confident. Let me see what he got. Confident after he won, and now he's ready to bet that bag. Stop duck fronting for the net, bro. You capping, bro. I've been trying to get you to play me for three months. Your buns. Play me for five racks, bro. Play me. Play me one v one. Stop lying for the net, you f***ing cap star. He shook my hand. We got it on camera. He said 5K is the bet. He's putting up 5K. I'm putting up 5K. Winner take all. Everybody thinks that I just got wiped down. You don't think I can get a bucket? You don't think that I can go out there and defend him? He can barely move side to side. I'm playing it down. You guys got to understand the mastermind behind this. I'm an OG in this game. I know how to hustle. I know how to eat out here. I What if you lose, Kenny? <laughs> Bro. This is tough. If Kenny Dobbs loses, he is deleting this video. He gonna have to pay me to take the video off the channel. Because <laughs> this is bad. He's literally claiming a win against hey look man I saying Chris Weiss is the nicest basketball hooper on YouTube dude's also a very large human being so regardless of you know if we're just going off of basketball skill it's still going to be very hard to guard Chris White in general I'm not saying Kenny Dobbs is any different but dude's just a big dude so are they going to have refs, you know what I'm saying? Or are they going to have, you know, street ball rules? Who knows? But this will be in a very exciting game. And I think everyone's been waiting for it anyway. So we'll see. I played it down. Let him got the dub. He made the bet. I secured the bag. Now 
it's time for me to showcase my real bag for him in this 1v1. He had a House of Highlight event that was taking place, and after that, he was supposed to go back to NY. I booked my own self a flight. I went to surprise him in New York. Wait, what? I booked my own highlight event that was taking place, and after that, he was supposed to go back to NY. I booked my oh, own man, self why? a flight. I went to surprise him in New York. Man, I'm out here in New York with these young bulls right here, man. I come out here looking for Chris White, man. They say, stop talking to Stop talking Where you at, man? I'm in Brooklyn. You ain't in Brooklyn. Where we at, baby? Stop talking that smoke. 5K 1v1, run it. I came all the way to New York looking for Chris White, man. I want my 1v1. Stop talking the smoke. Stop sucking shit, bro. You in New York looking bad, bro. Stop sucking shit, bro. Stop sucking shit, bro. How much Kenny Dog pay these dudes? <laughs> he probably gave him 20 each, bro. Gotta be, man. All of a sudden, he goes from House of Highlights event in New Orleans all the way to Florida. He says he's got a bag to get. Okay, cool. Get your bag and come get this bag because I had 5K on me. Kenny Dobbs, first off, if you knew Chris White, he doesn't live in New York. He lives in Florida. You should have been on that. Like, he talks about it all the time. You should have known that. Done your research, man. In New York, I'm waiting for him. Three days I waited. He finished his event in Florida. He got his bag off Champ Sports. I'm still in then why waiting for him to show up and he ain't show up man after posting about it on my IG and everybody getting on his head or I think I mean maybe he does live in Brooklyn I don't know maybe I'm sure there was young bulls out in the city saying you making New York look maybe bad he lives both at the end of the Who day knows? I finally figured you know what I guess he won the battle against me out there in the gym I won the battle out here, you know what I mean? Clowning him a little bit, taking some jabs at him. But at the end of the day, I still want my 1v1, man. It's safe to come home now, Chris. I'm not in New York nowhere. I'm back home in AZ. But I'm telling you right now, you don't set the date and you don't let me know when we're gonna run this 1v1, I promise you, nowhere is safe. I got a bag, bro. I can book a flight right now in any city and pop up on you. It's not gonna be sweet. And the longer I wait, the more hungry I'm going to get, the more angry I'm going to feel. You want to see a real hooligan? I'll show you that in person, man to man. Run me my 1v1. And that can go for any of you social media influencer, hoopers, or whatever you want to call. If I call you out or if I hear you talking about my name and I tell you 1v1, run it, put your bag up, I promise you I'm going to get on your head. I'm going to show up in your city. I'm real like that. It's nothing for me to put a bag up. Chris, stop running and ducking from the smoke. I got 5K on the line. I got 10K in the diamond chain. I'm putting it all up, man. 1v1, you and me, your teammates ain't going to be able to save you from this battle. The war is just begun. Now let's get Oh my gosh. What has the community come down to, bro? <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to feel, man. <sighs> I mean, respect to Kenny for standing his ground, you know, making a video, calling. He want Chris White smoke. At least he want the smoke. A lot of people don't run the smoke, all right? So I hope we get to see this game. Um, personally, I mean, just from the videos, going off the videos of Kenny Dobbs, we have not seen a lot of basketball from Kenny Dobbs, fair to say. So it would be tough to say, oh, yeah, Kenny Dobbs actually got this in the back. Chris, on the other hand, at least he's out here. We kind of know his game. Unless Kenny Dobbs been shit, not really even trying out there, or he got a bag that we don't know about, then, you know, just forget whatever I said. But until then, I, I think Chris White got it, you know? Um, let me know in the comments section what you guys think. A lot of y'all want me to react to the video, man. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And now, man, we out this day. Peace.